Our goal here at Women's Hospital for triplets would be to be delivered by 33 to 34 weeks. In my career, I've had a couple patients make it out to 35 weeks, but that's a rarity. The big thing we'd like to avoid is really early deliveries, and that would be babies less than 30 weeks. If we make it out to 32 weeks, I think that's a success. It's a common question to see are multiple gestations on the rise, and I think in the big picture they are compared to 50 years ago. And some of the reasons for that is that our population is aging, and women who are a little bit over, over 35, typically have a higher rate of spontaneous uh, multiple gestation. But one of the biggest issues was in the 60s and 70s, the advent of assisted reproductive technologies, also known as reproductive endocrinology, that's in vitro fertilization. Uh, that caused a very, very large increase in the number of uh, multiple gestations, and in particular, higher order multiple gestations, triplets, quadruplets, and quintuplets. When a woman has higher order multiples, and triplets are a higher order multiple, there's a distinct increased risk of preterm birth. Our goal is to get out to 32 to 34 weeks, but sometimes they come earlier than that. Birth weights are difficult to predict, but when we make it to our goal, the average birth weights are right at a four pounds. When you have a, uh, a set of triplets, you usually have one baby a little bit over four pounds, one a little bit under, it's kind of they're closely grouped together. The national organization that uh, regulates infertility doctors saw that there were too many babies being born with uh, higher order multiples, and they've really cut back on the number of embryos they uh, will implant and the numbers of multiple births that are higher actually decreasing recently and they're very stable over the last five years or so. So that's an improvement.